How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to review a few beginner level compound bows for you. But before I get started I want to just talk about a couple things especially about an arrow to help make sense about why I did certain things and what I'm talking about. So first of all an arrow is measured as far as weight goes in grains. So when we talk about the weight of an arrow we're talking about how many grains it weighs. The bows that I shoot in this video, I shoot two different weight arrows. One arrow weighs 450 grains, the other weighs 325. And I also show you what the results are when shooting those arrows through a chronograph, which shows you how fast the arrow is moving in feet per second. Now what that information is used for is if you're somebody who hunts, you know, typically you want a heavy arrow to give a lot of force when the arrow hits the animal, a lot of that, you know, energy. And some people who shoot like 3D competitions, they want a lighter arrow. And the reason why I chose a 325 grain arrow for the light one is based on the IBO rating, which is International Bow Hunting Organization, they have a rating of shooting an arrow at no less than five grains per pound. So if you're shooting 65 pounds, which is what I do in this video, five grains per pound equals 325 grains. So that's the minimum that you're allowed to use. So people in that type of a situation, they want the lightest arrow they can get so that their pins can be as close together as possible. It helps take out a little bit of the guesswork when they're shooting in 3D competition. So, and again, a 450 grain arrow, somebody who's hunting, typically they want a heavier arrow because it gives more of a punch when that arrow hits the animal. So that's the purpose of the different weight arrows that I use and you can see how that impacts the speed of the arrow and then you can kind of figure out what kind of shooting am I going to do, what's more important, do I want a lighter arrow, do I want a heavier arrow for hunting, do I want somewhere in the middle and then you can see how these bows behave with those different weight arrows and that can help you make a decision on which bow you would like to purchase if that's something you're looking to do. So with that information in mind, let's go ahead and look at these three compound bows that I reviewed. And today I am at Miller's Gun Shop doing some compound bow reviews. In the last episode, I went over some of your, you know, your flagship bows, your more expensive bows, the ones that are a thousand dollars just for the bow. And in this episode, I want to talk about um, you know your price point bows or your entry level bows bows that are around three hundred dollars four hundred dollars for a package I mean you'll still need to get arrows arrows are specific depending on what your draw length is you're going to need a different size arrow but um, these types of bows these entry level bows are good for you know young people getting into it let's say you have a girlfriend or a wife who's never done any shooting and they want to try it well, this is the way to go because you're not spending thousands of dollars and they might not even like archery, you know, so this is, this is definitely a good way to go. So I'm going to review three entry-level bows today that are all around the three to $400 range and I'll give you some feedback when I'm all done. Alright, now this is the Diamond Prism. Uh, I guess the Diamond's actually owned by Bowtech as far as I understand. But I'm just going to shoot these bows. I got three to shoot here, all at the uh, same arrows 450 green and 325. It's 240 with the 350 green, or excuse me, 450 green. Has a nice smooth draw cycle. I mean, it comes off the draw stop wall. You know, it's the way the draw cycle is, it stays on there naturally. And because it's not radical, it doesn't jump off easily. So. Right at that 240 mark with all those. Nice light bow as well. Good good bow for a kid. 276 with the lighter arrow. Two 
72. Yeah, these, these bows are great. This the adjustability in them, the price of them. I mean, especially for someone in youth, a woman getting into it who isn't sure if she's going to want to stay into it. I mean, th these types of bows are just great. I'm going to shoot the other two and then give a little feedback on them all. But overall, for the price, I mean, this is a really nice bow. I like it. This is the Hoyt Ignite. Um, it feels like more of a bow than, than the Prism. I mean, this one costs $100 more. Uh, but it, it definitely feels like more of a bow. The other one felt a little bit like a toy, um, even though it had good speed and you could hunt with it if you wanted to. Um, so I'm just, I mean, that's just my observation. The, the grip feels a little nicer with this one. And the uh, brace height is about an inch more. And the brace height, I mean, the larger the brace height, typically it'll be a little bit of a slower bow, all things considered. But it's a little less likely to hit your arm when the shot goes off. And it's a little more forgiving, traditionally speaking. So here is the 450 green arrow. Three, two, two thirty-six. Now this bow, a little louder, you could probably put some string silencers on it to quiet it down. The draw cycle is not as smooth as with the Prism. Well, I mean, it's a smooth draw cycle, but there's more of a, a jolt when you're coming off the peak weight. So you, you come up and then it drops down in. The other one, it didn't feel as jolty when you drop down in. And I think for a young person, that smoother draw will be a little easier for them. But this one, um, there's very you know not much vibration when it goes off, at least with that with those arrows. And we were shooting around 236 feet per second. I don't think that read it correctly, it's saying 321. <laughs> that's not right. That's, that's why we shoot three of each. See, that's 270. That, that last one was just a misread. Something made it read funny. This one will probably be closer to that 270 range with the light arrow. Yeah, 266. Um, so this feels like more of a bow, but the draw cycle for a young person in the price, I would probably, personally, I might lean toward the last one, the prism. But as far as a, a bow goes for a young person, this is a good option. It, it's pretty smooth when, when you let release the, the arrow. It's not real jumpy or vibration filled. So um, this is a really nice bow too. And I know here at Miller's Gun Shop, they sell a lot of these bows. So. Um, not a bad choice for a young person. Um, I just I give a little lean to the other one for, for price and draw cycle. Okay, the last entry level bow is the Bear Wild. It's a longer axle to axle which can give a little stability. It's a single cam bow so it'll be a little smoother but this bow is a little heavier than the other two. I'm going to let down on this one. Yeah, out of the three, this one definitely stays on the draw stop wall the best out of the three. Which for a young person, that will help them from creeping, um, you know, in the time of, especially for hunting, you know, that, that moment of the shot. Although you can creep a little bit. I guess what I should say, it stays in the overall valley the best, but there is a little area where you can creep because you only have one draw stop with this. So um, when it goes off, that was an error reading. When it goes off, it feels nice. But, um, you know, if I was buying one for my child, 
I'd probably, there's 293. I'd, I mean, I'm kind of leaning toward the prism. Although it feels like a little bit more of a toy in your, you know, when you, in your hand. It's light, which is good for a young person. Has some good adjustability to it. I think this one might be set at a little longer draw length too. This is, this feels closer to my draw length of 31. I'm not sure what the draw length range is on this one. Um, one thing about a single cam bow is you don't have to worry as much about tuning and timing of cams because there's only one. So if you're somebody who wants to get a bow for yourself or your child and you don't want to worry about keeping it in tune as bad, um, you know, a single cam bow might be a good option for you. It's a, a smidge slower in general, like I said. Um, this bow is a little bit heavier, so if you have a really young child, um, I would definitely lean toward the prism, without a doubt, because it's much lighter than this. But, um, you know, if, if you have like a 16 or 17 year old, I mean, this and you want to get them a hunting bow, this is a good option. So, again, you'll have to you know, see what are the most important things to you as far as, you know, the overall feel of a bow, the tunability of a bow. But if I was walking out of the door today with a bow for my child, I'd probably go with the prism if they were, you know, below the age of 13. If they were 13 or more, I might lean toward the Hoyt. And if it was around a 17-year-old, see, this is a heavier bow altogether. Um, but, you know, for someone who doesn't, if, so, if you're someone who doesn't do a lot of bow tuning, this, this would be a good option because you wouldn't have to worry so much about that with a single cam. I want to give a special thank you to all the people at Miller's Gun Shop. I really appreciate them putting some time aside to set these bows up for me today and let me come here and shoot them. So thank you, Miller's Gun Shop. If you guys are ever in the area, you got to come in and check them out. Well, I hope that information helps you a little bit as you look into getting a compound bow. I liked each of the bows and the uh, diamond was probably a great overall pick. If you're somebody who's bigger and older, you know, maybe that longer axle to axle bow, that last one, the bear, sometimes that's nice for in a hunting situation, having a little bit more, or even, you know, in 3D, just having a little more of an axle to axle length gives a little stability when you're aiming. So these are, I mean, all these bows would work well though, and I encourage you to keep all these ideas in mind and try them all out before making a final decision. Until next time, take care and God bless.